know, for many people, uh, the question is, is what, what is the news becoming? And how can it still be relevant today? And how can it still be valuable to people? Uh, so the question that I often pose to people is, do you live in a content bubble? And if you think about it, most of us access the news today, not necessarily from papers themselves, but through social networks. And what does it mean if all the information that we're accessing is through our friends and through people we know? Does it mean that we're missing out information that we, we wouldn't know otherwise? And I think that that has impacts on how people end up really learning about uh, the world kind of outside of their immediate bubble. Like how do we encourage our children to, um, to, to, to just experience and succeed in the online world, but not at the risk of losing what's happening in the offline world? And the internet certainly is a great teacher. Our educators are certainly great teachers, but fundamentally it starts with our parents. If you don't want your children to forget what it means to talk to someone in real life, you can't forget it. And so I think that as adults, uh, as educators, as parents, uh, we just need to lead by example. And, and in doing so, uh, instill those uh, ideas and importances for young people today on why it's important to be face-to-face -face as much as it is to be online.